So this is Suburban Life from April 1907. And uh, if you recall, a couple of days ago I showed you the March issue. So here we have the April issue. And um, it's much different than the March one. So don't worry, you're not going to see the same ads over again. This is altogether different. So um, on the front cover we have a very cool photograph of a uh, child from 1907 looking at some flowers Re other than like the uh, deluxe double spring edition that we looked at the other day this photo is in black and white it's not in color like the other one this is in incredibly good condition for the age of it and that can be attributed to the high quality paper that was used in printing this magazine and on the back of the magazine is a very, very cool ad for toasted cornflakes. Not by Kellogg's, but Sinitas. And um, look, but it is actually, look for the signature H of WK Kellogg on the package. But it says Sinitas instead of Kellogg's on the top, which is... Kind of interesting, um, and I don't know if that is the name of the actual cereal or if they were trying to branch out, but I haven't seen that name pop up again. So, it, for some reason, it's Sinitas Toasted Corn Flakes put up by Kellogg's. So, that's a mystery. Maybe someone can leave a comment and shed some light on that. Okay, uh, the topics on this issue are why I chose a suburban home. By Francis E. Clark and the motor car in the suburbs, the child's garden raising fancy rabbits. Some nice, innocuous, just some gentle sounding topics. On the inside cover, we have an ad for Peerless. Um, that name, uh, I'm somewhat familiar with it from collecting model cars and so forth. The Peerless. And I'll, there's some postage stamps that have this car on it. That was probably the first time I heard this name. But all that the name implies, the peerless is known in all lands and everywhere. Its construction is approved by practical men and its lines are admired by all who have eyes for proportion and finish. It is still more honored at home. In the special safety of its drop frame, in the peculiar comfort of its springs, in the luxury of its appointments, it is a delight the most exalting both for social uses and steady touring so that's the little blurb for peerless peerless motor car company oakdale street cleveland and then on the opposite side we have our side of the case an intimate talk with the publisher uh here's some discussion about advertisements every intelligent magazine reader now recognizes the fact that upon the volume of advertising carried at each number of the magazine depends in a large measure the subscription price of the magazine itself i know from the correspondence which comes to my desk every day that suburban life has an enthusiastic and responsive company of readers i mean by this readers who are willing to go out of their way if necessary to say a good word for suburban life or further its interests in any legitimate manner so from that you can say that maybe they were maybe people were annoyed at the now very beautiful ads but at the time they probably weren't they were probably just tiresome um tiffany and company here's a page for classified advertising bradshaw's farm book uh four hooks scotch collies austin's dog bread that is dog biscuits and we have all of these squab ads again, because raising squabs was a big deal in 1907. And on this side, we have a nice little piece of artwork. It's a cluster of onyx, cre onyx creations, uh, Lord and Taylor, and um, they still exists, I believe, uh, of exceptional beauty specifically designed to guide and assist the discerning in the selection of fine hosiery. One has only to mention onyx. It stems their questioner as one who knows. So this is for fine uh, leg apparel for women. And you can see it's very, very ornate. Gaslights, homemade gaslights. 
when we think of gaslight now, we tend to have that sort of sinister context of gaslighting people. That which actually in itself comes from a movie. I think Ingrid Bergman was in it. But at the time, in 1907, gaslighting was just one of the many lighting options you had for your house if you didn't go the electric route. Excuse me, it's uh, coffee time. I just got off work, and this is the time of the day where I'm a little drowsy, so um, I enjoy having a cup of coffee when I do these discussions. As you probably know if you watch my channel. Honey from your own bees, why not? So, beekeeping. And here's that traction power sprayer ad again. Um, this lawn roller, I still haven't quite figured out what a lawn roller is. It's not, it, it, I guess, to press the grass down if that made it look better. Uh, Iron Age implements like manual plows and so forth. Wash day troubles ended by a self-working washer. Use it a month for free. So, a washing machine. Um, basically, a bucket in water that agitated somehow. Uh, somehow agitated the clothes. Before that, the way clothes were washed was with the old washboard and some octagon. So, so here's an interesting add here this is tarvia the dust layer dustless roads just as the bicycle emphasized the need of smooth roads so the automobile has emphasized the need of dustless roads experiments experiments have been made from time to time with various materials principally oils but they have not been wholly successful in suppressing the dust nuisance not only has tarvia succeeded in suppressing the dust under automobile traffic but its use thus far proves conclusively that improves and hardens the road so as to prevent rapid deterioration from storm or frost. Tarvi is a viscid coal tar preparation. It is spread hot on the road and covered with screenings which it forms a, a amalgam which acts like a blanket on the surface of the road. So basically it sounds like asphalt or early, an early version of asphalt. The Kiwani system, we absolutely guarantee every Kiwani system of water supply to give satisfaction. Uh, water supply for country and city. Here's ad for vines, rustic work, portable summer house. Here's another ad for scars. Herbert Shivers. Try a hundred cigars. Uh, the number 4A folding Kodak camera. The pictures are four and a quarter by six and a half inches. Solo lamps and generators. So they had, they were telling me they had solar generators in 1907. How interesting is that? Um, Standard Sanitary Manufacturing Company. Just a really pretty ad again of showing the different housewares you could get. And we get to the table of contents with uh, some cute chicks here on the top. And it carries on to this page, a page of Easter chickens. And let's not forget, this is April. So the first one says, a stranger in a strange land. The second picture says, two's company, three's dash. A, a crowd without a home. An Easter quartet. The rivals. And looking backward. So this is very cute pictures of chicks to sort of get people in the mood for Easter. Here is Why I Chose a Suburban Home by Francis E. Clark. There's a picture of Dr. Clark with his son and daughter and their suburban home. Just sort of take note at how they're dressed. And we get a glimpse of the inside of the 1907 suburban home. The, the library, one of the living rooms. Um, here's a snow scene with beauty and charm in the dead of winter. Now we get to little known blossoms of familiar trees. So, for example, it's like the red oak makes flowers sometimes, or white maple blossoms, or um, 
sugar maple, staminate, and pistillate flowers. This is some kind of heavy horticulture stuff here. A branch of poplar catlins. Continuous flowering borders. The best way to have an uninterrupted succession of bloom from early spring until late fall. Suburban Betterment. What a Hartford, Connecticut suburb owes to its improvement society. And the fun of raising fancy rabbits. This is sort of an uh, article for kids, but look at the children raising rabbits in the little hutch right here. And uh, some, uh, some more cute photography. Obviously, it's, you know, it's Easter time, so. But once again, just sort of take note uh, at, at how they're dressed, and you can glean a lot from these photographs of the time period that we're in. The rabbit hutches may be the simplest construction. I would agree with that. Uh, here's the article that we saw, the motor car in the suburbs and why it's become a highly important factor in developing suburban life. Look at this picture and just kind of close your eyes and, and see if you can picture yourself walking down a, a sidewalk in this neighborhood and you see this. You see this couple driving this, this car, this very early car. Just imagine what that would be like. Um, when I look at a magazine like this, I really try to close my eyes and visualize. Let the children have a garden. Some of the simple tools to give them and the easiest plants to grow. There's so, once again, this is Easter time, and um, I think what, at this time, even in 1907, I think Easter was somewhat of a kid's holiday. You know, candy, egg hunts. Um, obviously, there was the family dinner involved. There was the religious service involved for a lot of people, but for many cases, Easter was a, sort of a kid-centric time, a time to shower your kids with a little bit of happiness. So there's a lot of uh, child-themed ads or articles in this magazine. I'm really needing the coffee today. That middle of the week tiredness, let me tell you. Keeping a tryst with springtime. That almost sounds a little bit scandalous, doesn't it? The editorial sentiment of the month. Muskmelon. Me and my grandfather would endlessly debate whether a certain fr uh, fruit was a, a cantaloupe or a muskmelon. And I think if it has these ridges on it, then it's a muskmelon versus a cantaloupe that would have a smooth... Uh, exterior not smooth but it wouldn't have these ridges of course it's gonna have this the, the cantaloupe texture which is um, that sort of how do you how do you how would you describe that texture it's like cobwebs but hard it's a definite texture here's some tips um, to clean cooking utensils. Here's a helpful 
tip handed down for at least two generations and which was told to me only a few weeks ago but in that short time has proved invaluable when food is burned on or sticks to a cooking vessel do not scrape with knife or chain simply put in a tablespoonful of baking soda fill with water and place on the stove to slowly heat by the time you're ready to wash the kettles the burned substance will come off like magic this is especially helpful in cleaning that bugbear the boston bean pot the bugbear <laughs> uh, to brighten silver if silver is discolored by the breakfast egg, shake a bit of baking soda on the damp dishcloth and rub briskly over the stain, rinse in hot water, and the original brightness will have been restored as if by magic. Instead of using silver polishing, try soaking it for half a day in a dishpan full of hot water, which a handful of borax has been added. Rub dry and polish with a soft cloth. Well, I would agree that, that any kind of abrasive from baking soda is simply, uh, you can use this toothpaste. It's basically a very light abrasive, so it's going to polish. Uh... To keep lima beans from boiling over, every housewife ought to know, and yet every it, very few do know, that a pinch of butter added to lima beans at time of putting on the stove will prevent all possibility of boiling over. You may put the lid on tight and have no further fear of them until done. And that's my grandmother put fat back in the lima beans or bacon, and it has the exact same effect. And that's true. If you're making something and you don't want to boil over, if you put butter or any kind of thing like that it will keep it from boiling over a half dozen California bungalows $5,000 my gosh $3,000 for that house wow 10 ways to improve property Flowers in the vegetable garden. Success with bush lima beans. Ostermore mattress is the real bed. And it shows the cutaway so you can see what type of mattress you're getting. Pansy bed. Pears. There's no place like home and no soap like pears. Pear soap is found in millions of homes. Or maybe it's pears. I think it's pears. There's that old Hickory Andrew Jackson chair again for $2.75. Here we go with the Prudential again. The woman in the case. Mother, wife, or daughter is entitled to the unfailing protection of life insurance. The ticking of the second should remind you that procrastination is the thief not only of time but of money, opportunity, and family happiness. Delay in life insurance may deprive your family of their future support, comfort, and education. A life insurance policy in the Prudential. <laughs> Lead-based paint. And they're... And, and so many houses have had to have that removed because children would eat the paint chips and it's toxic. You used to buy your horse-drawn buggy. Minutes toilet powder. Talcum powder. Cause vegetable Sicilian hair renewer. Nabisco sugar wafers. I would like to try those. I could love it a time machine and go back and just see what the Nabisco sugar wafers tasted like then. And because you know, I mean, I don't, is there any even is there anything like sugar wafers now anyway that you can buy by Nabisco? I, I wonder.
There's the Hotel Normandy in New York City. Milkweed cream. Make us prove what milkweed cream will do. Just send us your name and address and we will mail a free sample of this delicious beneficial skin food and also a booklet containing autograph letters and photo engravings of 15 of America's stage queens. Mention the name of your druggist and we will also send you an individual toothbrush holder free. My goodness, you're getting a lot of stuff. The autographs of... Oh, that's why most people probably would do it, just for the autographs. Look at that toothpaste tube. The Linux Hotel in Buffalo. Rapid electric carriages exclusively for patrons operate continuously every few minutes from the hotel through the business district. Also to all depots and wharves for principal trains and steamers. No airport yet. <laughs> Not really. Be a, Rat Brothers flew four years ago, so... Blast your stumps and boulders with Hercules powder. It's basically gunpowder. To blow stumps. And I mean that sounds like a dangerous thing to do. I think it's still done. The Burr Macintosh Monthly is the magazine that's different and is conceded to be the most beautiful magazine in the world. It is essentially a magazine that appeals to people of refinement and culture, to people who appreciate the best and fine illustrations presented in an unusual manner. Superb works of art in every number. Each issue contains a number of artistic subjects printed on heavy plate paper in splendid color effects and inserted at intervals throughout the magazine. In addition to these special subjects and colors, there is an art supplement devoted to the reproduction of the best works of the old masters or modern artists, the subject of the April supplement being work from the photo succession. This portion is always printed in an art tone ink of special shade, producing a result that experts term remarkable. Wow, I wish I could just get my hands on this magazine. The Burr Macintosh Monthly. Huh. Brown Brothers Nurseries, the largest in the world. This is a pretty full page out here. There's that hand-woven Pueblo Indian rug for $10. That's a lot of money in 1907. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of money. $10 was no joke in 1907. Clifton Springs Sanitarium again. That's... Yeah, mostly for people with tuber... Well, no, I take this back. Look what it says right here. No tubercular or insane cases received. So they're offering electrical and hydrotherapeutic treatments. What is it for? These together with a most wholesome and bountiful table, no diet fads, all lead... To the one end of you, renewed health and strength. Maybe it was just like for burnout. No tubercular or insane cases. So I guess this was just for burnout or maybe alcoholism? Possibly alcoholism. They're certainly not being very upfront about what the purpose of the sanitarium is. 
This is they just present the ad as if you already know. Ah, this ad right here. The Stearns, the car with the light, the white line, America has not produced a rival to the Stearns. We are ready to show any intending purchaser of a high-grade car to his entire satisfaction that he must import a car at double or most or more cost to get it equal. Wow, this ad is amazing. The Pope Toledo. And there's pony carts under it. God, these car ads are amazing. I mean, I have to admit, these these car ads are utterly amazing. I, uh, I mean, oh, wow. Wow. Cadillac. Look at these models. This Underwood Deviled Ham ad, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm a little bit blown away by all of these car ads all at once. Just ponds, I think, still exists. liquor and drug using, a scientific remedy which has been skillfully and successfully administered by medical specialists for the past. So I think there is a, an alcoholism that sanitary might have been for that too because there seems to be a lot of, they're addressing drug and alcohol problems. Interesting. Oh, look at the victory ad. You see how they just go a circle of generations here, which is very cool effect. Columbia Records and Wax Cylinders. The Columbia wins its suits against record makers whose imitations of Columbia Records were declared infringements of the patented Columbia record making process by the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Now the record industry has been suing people for a long time. Photographer, his ad is very uh, old school for even for 1907. And St. Paul's Cathedral, Pennsylvania, interlocking rubber tiling. They're showing how they're using that in St. Paul's Cathedral. Which brings us back to the, that awesome uh, serial ad on the back cover again. So. I sure hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, this is my last suburban life, and I'm probably the only one in the whole state who has one, so uh, I, I hope I can find some more copies of this magazine at some point, because I sure do like looking at it, and I hope you enjoyed flipping through it with me.
So uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. And please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, um, click the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. And I hope you continue to come back. Good night.